Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to be talking about multiple snowstorms with some heavy snow and ice through New Year's Day. So before I do get started, if you do like weather-related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media. All right, so let's get started. Here is the latest uh, watches and warnings as of this morning. We had that uh, initial clipper system that went through uh, Wisconsin last night that dumped that heavy snow into uh, Lambeau Field at the, at, the, at the Green Bay game. I was, I was enjoying watching that. But on the back side, we've got a winter storm warnings and watches breaking out in Kansas and, and Nebraska and South Dakota and portions of Minnesota getting into uh, Iowa, where I think you're going to get the, the brunt of this system. And as this extends off through uh, Wisconsin. So let's kind of take you through uh, the surface maps and what's how this all this is going to play out. This is how it looks like as of this morning. We have some initial rain showers dropping down into Texas. We've got this main system coming in through Nevada, Utah, Wyoming, South Dakota, portions of Nebraska, getting into Colorado and Kansas with that first initial wave of uh, snow. And then we have that clipper system that's kind of moving off to the east that dumped that heavier snow uh, last night in uh, Wisconsin. So as we kind of take you through Tuesday, that's when the system kind of really starts to get its act together and starts to bring some heavier rains down into Texas and then more snow break, breaking out on the backside of uh, Utah into, into Colorado, Nebraska, all the Dakotas into Minnesota. And that's what I think when it starts to get its act together and uh, portions of Iowa has that transfer over to rain to, to kind of a sleet snow ice mix into portions of a Kansas into Missouri, getting into Illinois and start getting into uh, portions of uh, Southern Michigan uh, by then. And then by Wednesday, that's when this heavier rain event will start to take shape down a little bit further south. We've got some heavier rain and start approaching into the Dallas-Fort Worth area, especially like East Texas. And then on the back side, we'll have some snow and mixture of snow and ice breaking out as a kind of a second system uh, starts to form by New Year's Eve, getting into uh, New Year's Day. So let's kind of walk you through the timeline. Here's the latest satellite feature. Uh, going into Monday night, we've got that first initial brand of snow kind of breaking out over uh, portions of Utah, getting into Colorado. That's when it starts to creep it into uh, Kansas and uh, portions of uh, Nebraska. And then we have that little bit of rain starting to creep, creep in, starting to take that initial shape into uh, Texas. And as we kind of extend the view into uh, tomorrow morning on Tuesday, that's when the system starts to kind of really starts to get its act together and starts to dump some heavier snow, bringing rain on the south side in uh, Texas. Then we'll have a transfer to a kind of a, an icy mix into portions of Kansas and then snow on the, on the upper levels on the back side of it and into Nebraska getting into uh, South Dakota by then. But we just kind of extend the view and then get it into uh, Tuesday night. And I think that's when it starts to really be at its height and it's kind of kind of get of its peak dumping some of those heavier snowfall rates of one to two inch per hour there's going to be a band in iowa that's going to easily dump a foot of snow in spots places maybe around say des moines area where that band initial kind of set up, sets up i think you get probably about a foot of snow in and around those areas and then a uh, little bit lighter amounts into uh, minnesota and this creeps into uh, wisconsin but you can see that rain on the south side but then by wednesday morning then we have that initial system kind of moving out it'll have some snow still breaking out on on the upper side of it into uh, uh wisconsin getting into a good chunk of uh, michigan uh by then and then kind of the leftover effects uh getting into uh minnesota but you can see that kind of a, a second system starting to take shape a little bit further south starting that that rain snow mix so there's gonna be a lot of moving parts with this this system i mean there's gonna be parts where you're gonna get some very heavy rain and then transfer to snow and then get heavy rain again and then transfer to snow with these two systems there's gonna be kind of back to back over the next several days uh, for a good chunk of the central u.s so as we kind of take you through that first initial wave of setup this is where that kind of snowfall band is going to kind of lay lay out dumping some 
a good amount of snow into Colorado, and this will kind of swing uh, northeast, mainly clipping uh, northern parts of Kansas, getting into a good chunk of Nebraska, and I think that's when that initial heavier setup will set up over Iowa. These could easily dump maybe potentially a foot of snow in spots, and especially in central Iowa, and then this will get in clip maybe southern portions, uh, northern portions of uh, Illinois, by then, and then clip uh, portions of Wisconsin, getting into uh, uh, you know Michigan, and then a little bit lighter amounts on the north side into uh, Minnesota as this first system kind of moves out. And then we actually have to watch a second system. So here's the latest vorticity index. Right now, this second system is off the coast of California, but this will be progressing uh, eastward and kind of taking shape. And you can kind of see this little circular action kind of start to really start to kind of show its head down here in uh, uh, portions of Mexico. And that will draw in some, some deep uh, gulf moisture with this system. And that's actually going to be break, breaking out some even some severe weather with this system. And this will be on Wednesday. Uh, the, the Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk of some gusty winds and some very heavy rain kind of setting up for uh, South Texas, getting into Austin, San Antonio. And this will progress uh, eastward, getting into Houston. And then we'll have that uh, another system kind of snow kind of taking shape and breaking out over Texas, if you can believe if you can believe that, get it into uh, New Year's Eve. So let's kind of take you through this second system. This will be New Year's. This is New Year's Eve. So as this kind of moves, uh, getting into getting starting getting into approaching New Year's Eve, uh, th this second system will start to kind of really take its shape over uh, Mexico, drawing in that Gulf moisture, bringing some very heavy rain into uh, East Texas. And then again, on the north side, where we're still tapping into some of that little bit of colder air from that first feature, we'll have a transfer to kind of a mix or snow mix into Missouri, into Illinois, and getting into uh, Indiana, and then rain on the south side. But as this second system kind of really starts to take shape and kind of really starts to get its act together, it'll draw in a lot more Gulf moisture, but it'll tap into that colder air. This system kind of lags behind. So that allows the colder air to push a little bit deeper, further south. And then that will be uh, the culprit of transferring this into kind of a, a rain snow mix into central Texas, uh, believe it or not, back in uh, West Texas, we'll start to see some uh, some rain, kind of a snow mix, kind of breaking out by uh, uh, New Year's Eve. Then, as we take you through uh, New Year's Eve, like kind of day, midday, this system's down to a thousand millibar. This like, again, it kind of lags behind. We'll have a lot of rain on the south side, into the southeast, getting into the Carolinas, up up the east coast. You can see that first initial band will have that little bit of a transfer, kind of the leftover effects from that first initial cold front. But then the, all the action starts to kind of uh, filter back into Texas, where we'll have that kind of a rain snow mix breaking out into West Texas, uh, getting into, uh, start getting filtering into uh, the Dallas Warbur theory of kind of a, a rain snow mix. Uh, by then, but I think by say New Year's Eve night or New Year's, yeah, New Year's Eve night, getting into New Year's Day to end 2020, we've got a pretty good snow event breaking out uh, in Texas, uh, believe it or not. I mean, this could easily approach uh, the Dallas Fort Worth area, but especially parts west, you could be picking up some some heavier snow. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe we're talking about heavy snow in Texas, but this is on the table with this system. And then as this progresses eastward, this a lot of warm air on the south side for this for the southeast. This will be dumping some heavier rains. I mean, we be, could be looking at po possibly four to five inches uh, of rain, say in uh, Houston, getting into southern portions of uh, Louisiana. So there's a lot of moving parts and dynamics uh, with these two systems. Uh, with some severe weather, some heavier rain, and then you have rain, ice mix, the ice, and then you have some heavy snow. To, so there's going to be a lot of moving parts with these two systems. And this is only a, over a four-day period. So this is there, there's going to be a lot of moving parts in the weather. But then as this kind of swings up, getting into uh, New Year's Day morning, again, we'll have that snow really start to take out and break out as that second low really starts to deepen. 
potentially dumping a significant ice event for uh, Missouri, getting into Missouri, getting into parts of uh, uh, Kansas by then, and then snow will lift, start lifting northward into uh, Oklahoma as this ses second system starts to really kind of take shape and starts to deepen. And then bringing a second round where you saw the first round into portions of Iowa again, uh, at, with this second system adding adding to your totals than you, what you saw uh, previously. But then as this kind of moves through uh, New Year's Day, again, we'll have some heavier rain on the, the south side and a good chunk of Georgia, the Carolinas, the Virginias, the Ohio Valley. This will be all rain uh, for you guys as the system kind of moves, moves through. But then again, snow on the back side filtering into northern parts of Missouri by then, and then Iowa getting clocked again with more more snow. And then as this system kind of moves through, getting into New Year's Day night uh, by then, it'll start to kind of wind down uh, by then over portions of uh, Iowa getting into uh, Wisconsin. And again, this will be all rain uh, through the Carolinas, through uh, Pennsylvania uh, by, by then. Then as the system kind of still progresses uh, eastward, this will the, the kind of uh, peter itself out. And then uh, whatever, whatever rain and ice mix will be left over uh, by then. And so, but you can look at the liquid precipitation uh, from this system. So there's a lot of rain or liquid in, in liquid form going to be following with this system. Again, this northwest flow has been really active this year dumping some very heavy rain along the coast of uh, Oregon and to uh, Washington. But then that southern jet's been really active as well. And this will dump some heavier rains into Texas. Again, you know, look at the graph. I mean, we're talking anywhere from three to five inches in these red shaded areas in East Texas, Arkansas, portions of uh, southern Missouri into uh, Oklahoma. And then that second wave and further south into Florida, getting into the Carolinas, with some some very heavy rain, but what's all what's all that going to be from what's going to be appearing as snow versus versus rain? And so here's the first initial band going through northern portions, the north central portions of the Midwest, getting into uh, uh, you know Iowa, uh, Wisconsin, and then we have that second system that will form down further south, dumping that heavier snow, and that's that's the part. It's going to be a little bit, little bit uh, un, more uncertainty as the system kind of comes ashore. But it, where that, you know, where that demarcation line is going to stop, where what's going to be ice, what's going to be rain, what's going to be snow. But right now, we'll have that snow band going over uh, western parts of uh, Texas, getting into the Dallas Fort Worth area, going into Oklahoma, going into northern parts of uh, Missouri and then extending through uh, Wisconsin, getting through uh, Michigan. And the, the GFS model has a, a tad bit further south. Again, it's a little bit of uncertainty of where that second system and what's actually going to fall as rain and what's going to actually fall as snow because uh, there's a lot of liquid uh, with this system. But it puts the snow band just a tad bit further uh, south than what the uh, the, the Euro model uh, has at this moment. But hey, I appreciate you guys watching. I will definitely be fine tuning this system as we got a very dynamic system happening over the next several days through New Year's Day. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Do like this video. Definitely leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where I protect you before and after the storm.